Okay, so we got that. Hey, <laughs> don't run away, little rebel. Boop, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I don't know. Beep. Little headphones. getting ready to make this beautiful big green salad with pomegranate and pecans. So the first thing is to get this pomegranate opened up and all of the good tasty seeds out of here. And I have a little trick here to show you how to do it. I'm gonna take this bowl and fill it full of water. Okay. I'm gonna open up this pomegranate in the water and all of the pomegranate juice, instead of squirting on me, is gonna squirt in the water. As you can see, I just got this whole section undone um, and unpeeled and all of the pomegranates are now in here and this white part is floating and it's easy to remove and separate out the pomegranate seeds from the, the stuff that we don't want to eat. <laughs> You'll also notice that as I release these seeds that the white part tends to float up to the top while the seeds sink to the bottom. And that makes it really easy to separate all of the white stuff out because it just floats up to the top of the water and is so much easier to remove. Now I'm gonna get a sieve and I'm going to pour out all the water and then pick out all the rest of the little white pieces and get this ready to put into the salad. I love making this salad with romaine lettuce, but there was no romaine lettuce at the store. So a great alternate is red leaf lettuce. Now it looks very autumn-y. This is, makes it looks very festive with the red pomegranate seeds. And then we'll have some celery and we will have some cucumber. This is a lot of lettuce. <laughs> So what I like to do is I like to tear the lettuce. So I'm not gonna be cutting this and this is gonna be all torn into bite-sized pieces 
and then I'm going to rinse it really well in the water and let it soak for a bit. And then I'm just going to go fast as I can and just tear all this into bite-sized pieces. I don't like cutting lettuce because, you know, even though I'm serving this salad very soon, I just don't like the cut um, edges myself. I just like the bite-sized torn, torn pieces. I just think it has a more frilly fun feel. Um, also, it doesn't turn uh, another color like brown or black if you're making this salad ahead of time. So I'm just gonna go as fast as I can to get this done. Okay, now that I've got this mountain of lettuce, I'm gonna give it a good rinse, and then I'm gonna put it on this tea towel and then cover it with another tea towel because I wanna get all this moisture out of there and I don't have a salad spinner. I live in a small apartment with a small kitchen, small apartment with a small kitchen, so I just am gonna put it on this tea towel, blot it really well with another clean tea towel, and this will be ready to put into this amazing salad bowl loaned to me by my friend Lisa Hoover. This, is this not, okay, is this not a gorgeous salad bowl? Oh my goodness, ah, I could eat just a salad bowl. That would hurt. <laughs> okay, while that's uh, filling up in the sink and getting ready to soak the lettuce and clean it really well, to show you this handy little thing I got. This is a combo colander. It's collapsible and then it's also a little hood to put on your food in the microwave. It's made of silicone. I love this little thing. It's so handy. Okay, so I'm taking this other tea towel and I am going to blot this really well so that I can get all of this dried up. If I need to, I'll use paper towel, but man, do I want to get this all nice and dry. Nothing worse than a soggy salad. Yeesh. Or soggy lettuce. Ay, 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 ay. can't see this but it this towel has absorbed a lot of the moisture because this towel is sopping wet underneath so I'm gonna put these are these not super awesome oh my goodness I'm gonna put these aside I'm gonna start filling the lettuce in here looking so good already. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna show you how wet this towel is. I'm just gonna look at these little crumbs. Okay, can you see how wet that is? I don't even know if you can tell. It's super wet. <laughs> We're gonna let that one go. I'm just gonna fold that up right there. We'll use this one as our new towel. This is such a big bowl. It is gonna definitely hold all two heads of lettuce. I just wanna show you how 
uh, this water is now uh, after it has soaked and with those see all that there's a there was a lot of stuff in there I mean some of the green came out of the um, leaves but man so good to get that lettuce nice and clean and there's just a tiny little sediment of dirt we got that out going to get these guys over here. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple stalks of celery ready to go to put in. You know, I'm going to get my bigger knife. I am just not satisfied with this little guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this is the knife I love. It's my saboteur bought for me by my husband when we first got it it was super sharp oh my goodness this knife I can't see a thing when I'm doing it, if I'm doing it like that little celery bits cutting it in half lengthwise gosh I, I looks like I just drank a glass of wine before I, I just did this a little crooked maybe <laughs> yum 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 into the salad you go jumping from the table of wood okay <laughs> all right now gosh I feel like I could probably put in maybe one more celery stick since it's a good sized salad. How about one more? Why not? We can do one more. All right. You have to wait your turn, cucumber. Okay, that was cut like a human being. Okay, great. Boy, that you just definitely look good with one more celery stick. Perfect. Okay, celery, you can go aside now. Time for me to pick up a little, a few of these bits and move on to the cucumber. So I need to wash these cucumbers, and then I'm going to decide what I want to do. Sometimes it's nice to do a stripe, tiger stripe. Well, I don't know if it's really a tiger, but. Um, so that you have a little bit of the peel on, but I just feel like this peel is so thick, maybe it's not going to be that great. Oh, everything is so damp. Okay, I'm really picky about my paper towels. I just get Viva because they're so absorbent. Okay. Let's see if I like this with the stripes. And if I do, great. If not, we'll, we'll go the other route. So you can either do them like this, kind of like tiger stripes, which is kind of fun, adds a little bit of, and then I would do half moons. I don't know. Let's go ahead and do it that way. Why not? It's kind of fun. Okay, so we got that. Hey, <laughs> don't run away. Little rebel. Boop. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I don't know. Beep. Little headphones. Okay. Sometimes I like to do these in quarter rounds, but I'm going to go ahead and just do these up like this. Yum. Okay, jump into the bowl. Woo. 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 These are kind of fun. Look at 
these fun cucumbers. They're just plain. Woo! I don't know. Is it a good idea to leave these on like this? What do you think? Do you like these like this? Maybe you don't. That's okay. You can tell me. Tell me in the comments below. Tell me what you like and don't like. I don't mind. Just share. Okay, so now let's pick through these pomegranates, pomegranate seeds, and I just want to kind of pick off a few more of these little pieces, and then I'm just going to toss them in. Just do a kind of like a handful at a time and pick out the white weird stuff, because honestly, they're all pretty darn clean. They were in the water. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. You know, you could also put oranges or apple slices in this salad, which would add some more nice crunch and color. But I think I'm just gonna keep it simple today. Just keep it with the pomegranate seeds as my splash of color and call it good. Okay, there we have it. Um, we're gonna put these pecans in here now. I'm gonna move this to the side. Let's move this over. And I'm just gonna wipe it. You guys stand there for a second. I'm gonna wipe this down. Notice there's not a lot of red pomegranate juice everywhere, especially not on me. Okay, so we got the pecans and oh gosh look at all that color I just love that color and then we're just going to toss in a probably about half of this bag of pecans because that's enough that's really enough nuts don't you think <laughs> so we're going to have this with a white balsamic vinaigrette um, also good with this is a champagne vinaigrette so, bon appetit, have a fabulous salad time. Thank you for tuning in. And if you want any of these things that I've been using, except for this big bowl that I borrowed, you can see it in the comments below. Enjoy. So, first thing is to get this pecan ready. <laughs>